Oh, he's gonna measure out. Oh, yeah, he's measuring. There you go. Blue Cat, Sante Cooper rig. Day two, morning, ready to go. A little later start than we wanted. It's like 37 out here, so it's chilly today. Uh, but the wind is really down, which is a good thing. So we're getting ready to go out here and see if we can match day one on day two. Peace out. what it looks like that's why we're, and we're on the opposite side of the lake from the ramp so we got to putz around through this whole area until we find a break in these trees to get back into the oh, little fish. cove we want to fish look at that marking oh, yeah. huge man fishies on there oh no you got a drum So freshwater drum, first fish of day two. Oh, we've been hunting hard this morning, and as you probably saw, we were in an area with a lot of trees, so we had to go real slow. So we spent a lot of time to get somewhere that didn't pan out. So we were cruising along, watching the finder, and we saw a bunch of bait and a bunch of fish. And Joel got the first hookup. My peoples, we got a fish on. We have changed up again. We are now drift fishing for cats. And what we call this is power drifting because we're using the trolling motor. We got no wind, so you can't drift where you normally do with the wind. So this is when you bring the trolling motor out. We got us a little teeny catfish, but like I said, we keep him today. So if this guy measures out, we're keeping a little blue cat. Oh, he's gonna measure out. Oh, yeah, he's there you go. Blue Cat, Sante Cooper rig, homemade drift weights. You guys, ow, careful now. You guys look at some of my old catfish videos. You'll see all about this rig, how to rig it up. Maybe I'll put a link to it somewhere up here for anybody who's interested. Got the cooler open, brother. John is not skunk today, baby. Oh, right. I'll have the pants in there in a minute. Yeah. That view. We're still troll or power drifting for the kitty cats. We had a lot of bites that didn't hook up. Lost some bait, but finally got a second fish on if I get them in the boat. Another little bitty one. We might even be going back. He's so small. He's a little bitty one. Ugh. Actually, he's probably legal, ain't he? Ugh, let's see. Let's see. Cooperate. Oh shit, other pole. Other pole. Other pole. Other pole. Hold him for a minute. I feel like laying this guy. Is this about the size of one from yesterday? Yesterday's a bigger. Yeah, you're shivering. Go on back there, little buddy. Get oh, no, he don't come off. Did he no. come off? He came off. Oh, you are fucking good. <laughs> that was a good one, dude. He had some weight on him, boy. You took your shit, too. You took 
took everything. your hit. He took your hook. He took everything. Maybe a gar? I don't know what a man. That or a bad tied knot, so his catfish don't bite too long. Fish on this time. Got him. Is there a little one? Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it's as big as that. First one I got, not the second one. Is that my first channel cat here? Nope, it's a blue. Oh, it's a good one. Good eater size, all right? Oh man, he swallowed that down. Boats, go turning into boats. We got a new one. There you go. Hook that's in my hand that I'm making a fist with. Oh, yeah. He feels a lot heavier, Joel. Oh yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, he's a nice blue. That's an eater blue, baby. Come up here, big boy. You're that too. That's a nice eater blue. That's a good eater. That will eat all day long. We got as a head shaker. That's when they shake their heads instead of a tree. Ha! <laughs> Some of you will get that. Just tell, yeah, you got your little blue cat there. He's on the board. Well, he might, he's keep, right? I'm getting nibbled on this one now. I was just telling him to come over with some fish here. Yep, there's still fish on the grass. There's one. Joel got one in, and I'm getting nibble nibbled over here. Oh, oh, that's promising. This one keeps trying to snag. Uh -oh. Does that look like you got one? I, yep. Oh, yep. No. Yeah, a fish and a snag at the same time. Now what? There's something there, but I can't for the life of me tell for sure what it is. I think it is a fish. I think it's a fish. I might have caught another branch. No, I think it's not a fish. No, I might have caught another branch. Real, no head shakes at all. No, yeah, you might be right. It might be a fish. Yeah, you another borderline. All right, so if not not ginormous by any means, he would eat if you were keeping every eater size. Joel, you got one? Nope, I don't think so. But you are below the size that I'm willing to keep, buddy. You're probably right at the minute. So for blue and channel cats here in Texas, it's 12 inch minimum size. So you're probably right at it, but don't need them that bad. You really don't get a whole bunch of meat off a 12 inch catfish. Got all your shit together there, Joel. Willis. This thing, stay legal. State of Texas, gotta have it on. Bunch of bait. Oh, 
Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't largemouth bass fishing on purpose, boys, but that don't mean we don't catch them. Slabbing for white bass. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> oh, man. Look, I want to get a measure. It's on already out of his mouth. The hook is out of his mouth. That's, That's how a big. I boy. was lucky to net him. <laughs> boy, you gotta take a picture, Joel. I don't care. I know you're slapping. I'm sorry. trip here we're at the Callahan unit of the state park at Choke Canyon Lake in Texas uh, you can see behind me our our facilities where we stayed it's been around this way you see the lake right behind us ramps that way a little ways if you want you stay over here and you trust doing it you can beat your boat right down here if you want and then just leave it right there pretty safe and they got I don't know like 15 of these little guys spread throughout this side of the camp. It's a very big state park But let's go take a look uh, Hold on. Take a look around see what we got. Okay, so again, that's our Come over dough. We got a little picnic table. We got a fire pit where we had a fire last night We got outdoor water available. There's a plug on the side of the building outside so we could charge the trolling motor batteries and we're loading up now. There goes Mr. Joe Willis. What up? What up? <laughs> and this is the facility. So, pretty bare minimum. Cinder block walls. This one has three cots in it. The others have, some of them have two cots. And that's it. And you got an AC unit, which of course this time of year we did not use. We brought our own heater. And all that's our stuff. So, none of that's here. So, you got a little shelf, three beds, right? Some windows. And that is pretty much the whole. Now, where do you go to the bathroom? <laughs> well, that building right there is the bathroom. So it's not very far walk and it's got showers also. Uh, is it gonna be as nice as your house? Nope, uh, but it suffices what you're doing here. One of the cool things about this place is you'll have all kinds of wildlife coming around here. We've seen like a 10 point buck walking around in here, all kinds of doe. Like cardinals, <clears throat> cardinals, the birds. If you're a bird person, there's all kinds of different kinds of birds here. It's one of those bird viewing uh, state parks, wildlife preserve, whatever they call it. So that's about capping it. So, of course, it's the end of day two. We're packing up. We're getting ready to roll. Look, bonus. Some folks out there fishing right now. Oh, even a paddle. Oh, man. Oh, that sucks. They're paddling in. Wow, they're paddling in, Joel. Are they? Yeah. 
good thing for them they ain't got far to go they're waving their paddles every once in a while so there'll be more boats this is the main through fare to the ramp so there's going to be boats coming from that direction matter of fact i see one down there there's a boat over there boat? yeah they'll probably end up getting them <clears throat> there's the cardinals in the tree over there probably can't see them on this camera all right folks so that wraps it up do me a favor if you enjoyed this video Hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. Doesn't cost you nothing. Give me a thumbs up down there. Hit the notification bell by the subscribe button. It'll keep you up to date on when we get new videos uh, posted. And that's another one for the books. First one, 2020. Peace out. Bonus footage. So the two guys paddling their boat. And their boat went by, saw them, and now they're going to probably give them a tow back to the ramp. So gonna end well for them <clears throat> that could be fishermen or this time of year that could be duck hunters and the way they got all those covers on the back of the boat so, uh, outdoorsmen helping outdoorsmen good deal good to see all right folks later <laughs>